Good afternoon, you guys. It's me, Linda, from First Generation Homestead. Well, my son Alex and my husband Mike got the tractor and cleaned this right here, all this, and like right over there, somewhere over there, we had like a big hill where there was like rabbits going in and stuff like that, and it was full of rocks. They cleared that out completely and made it all flat. Now we're gonna get some um, cattle panel and cover from, as you can see, from this post to right over there. We're gonna put cattle panel all right here because we have a 12 foot gate gonna, that's gonna close right there, which is the one right here laying on the floor. So let me take y'all over here with, with them, you guys. That way y'all can get a closer look. But yeah, the tractor did a pretty good job here. Clearing up a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. And that's our spokesperson, Olivia. Olive. Is there anything you want to say? Oh, right now we are... And this is temporary, right? Yeah, this is just a temporary gate. But later... where we're putting the cattle paddle is going to be electric fence like the rest of our property all around. Yeah, we're just trying to cover up so our dogs won't get out and we can actually have all this, all this out here so the dogs can run yeah. freely out here. Because right now we have them locked up over there by the house and now that we have this fence put up that High Desert Homestead put for us, uh, we can let our dogs out now. And uh, the High Desert Homestead did a very, very good job on our fence. Make sure you go subscribe to their channel, like their videos, and hit their notification bell so you don't miss one of their videos. Mm -hmm. Alex, is there anything you want to say? No. Alex is real shy. He's so, shy. Let's, uh, let's go fire up the other tractor. Let's see where we need to, we need to take some more dirt down right here. Yeah, but they got all this cleared out. So, uh, we'll keep you guys, um, updated on the little fence that we're doing right here. Alrighty. Okay, so now Mike, my husband, is coming in, and we're gonna, right here, he's gonna kind of level that off because the cattle, cattle panel kind of picks up. It kind of picks up and then there's still like a gap under the gate, like under the cattle panel. So he's gonna fix that and then kind of make it a little bit better to where the cattle panel doesn't have any holes at the bottom. And Alex, Alex is always so shy to get on, the, on YouTube, you guys. You know, he's always so shy. Can y'all give Alex some advice on not being shy? <laughs> always? There you go, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna level that out. And so we can put our, eventually, we're gonna call the high desert back, the high desert homestead, homestead back, because from there to this pole over here, we wanna put some more electric fence. But for now, we're just gonna use a cattle pan, just to kind of cover it up. But yeah. Dogs won't get out. Yeah. So right now he's just leveling out the dirt so we can get that cattle panel put up. Hey guys, if you want to see me drive the track, drive the tractor, then just yeah. Olivia is learning how to drive <laughs> our little tractor over there. Yeah. She's getting the hang of it it's already. Easy, but I still have a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. But there you go, guys. Getting At to work. At the end of this video, I'll ride the tractor. This is an old RV that we bought. My 
husband life was going to use it to you know, take it out of town for jobs, but it needs a lot of work done to it. So, you know, little by little, we'll get things done. Our main priority right now is our gate. Getting our gate done. So, yes. Our main priority is getting our gate done. So, uh, like I said, High Desert Homestead did a fabulous job. Look at this, guys. Look at that. Look how beautiful this fence is. I recommend them. If you need an electrical fence up to keep the uh, elk or whatever out, they are the people to call. Miss Polly and Mr. Moses because they do such a great job. Awesome job. Okay, I'm out of breath because I was putting on one of those teeth posts. I'll pass you to my little spokesperson because I'm out of breath. <laughs> well, if you guys know what he said, I'm like, I'm a little bit dirty because somebody got the level and when I was by the mud, I can hardly speak because I ran all the way over there to get the level and I came back. So that's why I'm kind of tired. Somebody got the level and We've got done, we've got all our T-posts hidden. Now, all we gotta do is get the little, what is this called, the little hooks, we call them little hooks. I'll get an example for you guys. If you guys don't know what hooks are. They are, these little things right here. So that's what we're gonna be, this is what we're gonna be using to attach our cattle panel to our T-post. It's a temporary cattle panel. Just for now. Till we call High Desert Homestead. Homestead. And then we get this. To come and finish this electrical fence, the, the, little, the little piece right there that I showed y'all. Yeah, and we're gonna take, we have and, all this off right here. But this is just temporary. Yeah. This is for our gate. Yeah. See this 12 foot gate right here? That's gonna go right, right there, right there. Let's go see what they're doing over here. It looks like if it's about to rain, we've been had rain for already a few, a few days now, four days straight already, and it really doesn't really let us do anything outside. That's why we're hurrying up trying to get things done around here because. And this is Mike. <laughs> he finally made it home from Billings, Montana. And is here with us at home already. So that's awesome. He gets to help us. Well, we're going to keep working on the game and we'll keep you updated. So, as y'all can see, we already ran the cattle panel and we ran it all across right here. So, we're fixing to get some bad weather. Look, it's coming from over there. And uh, we're going to go get a bite to eat. And uh, we're going to give these poles a few days, maybe a, a, a day to dry up till we put this fence up. And uh, that way it can be, you know nice and tough and we don't have a gate falling off on us but uh, yeah we, we're done with this and uh, I'm getting a ride back with Alex so I don't have to walk all the way over there so we'll see you guys guys we are back with the fence again and the gate now we're working on the gate as you guys can see we've got this done and plus the all the way around we had to cut the weeds because this was our first hot wire right here so we had to cut the weeds and all around so that's what we did that's why you can hear the heat weed eater i was gonna say heat eater 
but it was way easier. So we got this done. Now we're attaching the little latch to the gate. So put the gate up and we're done. So yeah. fence that we were talking about a while ago, this is it. This is the final result. Is the light on? The light's on. Now you want to close it so we can get a good look at it? Push, push yes. The push in the all the way. Perfect. Put a little chain around it. Perfect. And the posts. I leveled them. Did everything to them. It looks great. Okay. okay. And we also put like a little a little wire there so dogs won't get out or something tries to break in. But here it is you guys. We still need some more work inside the house, but this was our main priority to get this gate open. It took us two days just to do this little part because we had bad, bad weather. Yes, we've been having bad weather. So, there it is, you guys. And uh, let us know what you think about our gate. See you guys later. We love you. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell button so that you don't miss a video. Bye.